so this setup was given though the entry point wasn't given so in this situation I do not enter the trade I wait if to see if all my confirmations are there if they are there then I enter my trade okay moving on to the first of uh, June right as you can see there uh, they gave this signal though it was followed by an exit point right but what we also need to consider is the kind of uh, candlesticks that are being formed when the pattern is being presented it's not about uh, looking for the entry points only the candlestick patterns are also important they can tell you whether this is a valid trade or this is not a valid trade right at the same time we are also looking for patterns that move out of the Asian box these if potential uh, movement rather than patterns that just come and form weeks on the upper range of the Asian lines there right so this was our valid uh, setup there for euro usd in this situation you also need to look at your higher time frame what is in what is being presented on h1 time frame for you to avoid such scenarios like this okay so this was a trade entry point was given exit point was given but I do not encourage you to take such trades uh, reason being that sometimes they manipulate when they're moving from the New York to the Asian they may manipulate uh, your trades they manipulate the market and then they can close uh, on your end there or they can go for a stop loss through the spread that they'll be uh, using moving on to the second day it was a nice good setup there but there was no entry point I would have uh, actually missed this one same thing on the third day then on Friday the fourth they actually gave a nice uh, W pattern there a nice W pattern there and an entry point and then they gave us an exit point there So for Euro USD, let me read with you. As you can see, there is only one setup that was taken. So for Euro USD, we have. Uh, setup was taken on Friday so for now we have a 2 out of 2 and a a 1 out of 1 apparently this trade was taken on h1 time frame let me just try and check I 
so let's just mark up that area and then we go and see what happened on uh, high time frame so now as you can see we're on h1 time frame the entry was actually given here on this candle and this was your entry point and then this drop so you can see on m15 we're ranging and actually on m h1 they're actually forming a nice m pattern there so you need to take h1 into consideration when you're taking your trades no matter the m15 based or h1 based you need to take this time frame into consideration it gives you a bias of direction of the trades that you're going to take moving on to bonus pairs that we look at if these two pairs euro usd and euro aud don't have setups we also get to look at 